Hello, my friends. Welcome to Green Magic Gardening, where we keep it raw, real, and 100. We keep it the people's channel. Um, if you want to run the same genetics, www.reversegenetics.ca, guys. It's very easy. It'll come right up. You'll see his logo. Find the strain you want and uh, use the message thing, guys. And don't waste the man's time, please. Like, he's very busy, too. And you know, a lot of you guys are just wasting this time. Um, make sure you're dropping a comment for the giveaway, guys. I pick. And that, too, guys. The giveaways. I use a comment picker. You guys commenting, oh, I hope I win scenes. Oh, I hope I win. It's not going to help your case, guys. It's not. YouTube doesn't like the seed stuff either. So just leave a normal comment, guys. You don't know what video I'll pick. So once a month, on the first Saturday of every month, right? This Saturday coming. Well, no. By the time you guys see this, that'll, it'll already be over. The first Saturday of every month, guys, I use a comment picker. I pick one random video. So all you got to do is have a comment. I do about 12 videos a month. Have a comment, a simple comment on each one. Like the video and be subscribed. And then we're going to have lots of, lots more giveaways, guys. A lot of companies want to give me stuff to give away to. So we're going to be having really good giveaways in the future. So yeah, just simply leave your comment and duplicates. Guys, leaving 10 comments doesn't help. It filters all that out. Even if you go on another account and you try, it filters that out too. So don't even try that. Um, it's one comment, guys, and it picks randomly. So yeah, a lot of people have been confused with that. Now getting into it, Spider Farmer 3x3 tent powered by the SE5000. It does not have UV in this one. 500 watts of wall to wall diodes guys um we got an amazon fan down here blowing up it's exhausted by my little invention that you guys seen i'll try to uh show you guys that real quickly but we're running a purple fuel in a five gallon fabric pot guys purple fuel photo period by reverse genetics and she is a beast, guys. We are starting week four of flower. This is the first day of week four, guys. Fabric pot, five gallon, HP Pro Mix for the medium, guys. Absolutely love that stuff. And then we've been amending with Gaia Green 444 and Gaia Green 284. We use that wonderful cow mag there when needed. MPK Raw Silica when I remember. And fish dong, donkers, doo-doo, fish heads, whatever you want to call it. Fish microbes. We use that stuff there too. And I've been forgetting to use microbial mass. I need to get myself some more of that, guys. It's a bunch of uh, good strains of bacteria too. So off the trap, hold. All right, now we got all that craziness out of the way, guys. I'm sorry for lagging on the intros, but it's got to be done. So look at this girl. She is stacking up beautifully. Man, the comments on the last video. Holy moly, guys. Absolutely crazy. Over 500 comments, I believe. And I answered all of them. It's wild, guys. So I, I don't know what some of you guys were talking about, man. Someone's talking about you got lockout because of this. You're root bound. Like, what? For one, there's no lockout. What are you talking about? For two, this is not root bound. If you don't think you can grow a plant this big in a five gallon, like, who, who are you guys kidding? Like, quite a few people try to say oh, it's root bound. Like, what? You can't grow a, a plant in a 3x3 three three in a 5-gallon when you need a 10-gallon. Guys, get the hell out of here, man. Don't tell me that you can't pull off a plant like this in a 5-gallon. Like, I can do this in a freaking 2-gallon. I guarantee you I could. You guys know I can, those of you that know me. So, yeah, like, it gets very frustrating sometimes. But we are in day one of week four of flower, guys, and they're stacking up beautifully. I'm going to get some lights out shots here and show you guys so you can really see. Didn't get any water yesterday, so we are going to hit it with some water. It's going to get four liters. And no, that's not overwatering, not even close. You're not going to overwater this. Like, it's going to come out the bottom and you're going to have to suck it up. So no, there's no overwatering. No, it's not root bound. Like, man. 
it, it, that irritates me really when, when I can tell some of you guys don't watch the video at all. You literally look at some still shots of the plant and then come up with a whole diagnosis of what's going on in the video. Like what? It's almost like a slap in my face when you guys do that. Just comment, nice work, Ribby, and move on if that's the case. Like, why are you going to come on and critique my entire grow? And I literally know for a fact you didn't watch any of it. Come on, guys. We got to do better. We must do better than that. Don't be a bunch of lazy stoners. Watch the video. <laughs> but no. Like I said, guys, I get skipping through and all that. I do. But just, you know, don't try to diagnose my own. <laughs> like, I have some big problem I'm trying to diagnose. No, this grow's going very well. Enough rambling on. Let's go get the water, guys. And, yeah, there you go. There's a little rant for y'all. The light back on. Light's been at 60%, guys. I don't know if I'm going to go any higher than that. That's pretty close. Oh, I took that off, moved it down here, cleaned it all out nice. It's blowing up. So, um, I moved the light up as high as it could possibly go. And we're like six inches we just made it, guys. What a beauty, man. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with this. I think I hit it with the wrong pH a couple of times. And it did react a little bit, I could tell, to that. But other than that, guys, it's fine. All right, we'll go with this one. Gotta have the magical corner on, the magical lights. So, and that one's at 6.8, it was from yesterday. This thing's been giving me, I don't, I don't know, man. This guy of green getting gunked in there really didn't help it. I'm really pissed off about that. It keeps getting stuck in there in the same freaking place, man. Like, I, I don't get it. So we just need a couple uh, sprinkles of uh, pH down. Phosphoric acid. A couple sprinkles, peckles. That'll do the trick. careful to not hit the probe guys if you're doing it like i do so that will definitely cause it to be have errors you know read off if you're beating the crap out of the probe well 6.2 guys good enough so let's get a leader and hit it in feeder Well, there's four liters, guys. I know it seems like a lot, but you can tell it just makes it down. That's how I can tell and I feel. And it'll just barely saturates it all. It'll probably take about one more liter to fully saturate it. But I don't want to be washing microbes and, and stuff out the bottom of the pot. So there you have it, day one of week four. Okay, all right, we're back and we're a couple days in the week two. Week two, what the heck am I talking about? In the week four, guys, they're totally done their stack of lacking. Oh, baby. So, all I'm going to do is today is water. I'm very busy today and I almost forgot. We're going to give her four whole liters of water, guys. And... That's going to be it for today, and we're going to come back in tomorrow, or no, Monday. We'll come back in, and I'm going to, because I might not be able to get out tomorrow, we're going to do all the rubbits, the ribbies rubbits, and we're going to do one final defoliation, defoliation by just taking off some, some leaves. Someone mentioned it too, you want to strip those down a lot more, and I totally, totally agree. But... Look at the stack of lacking, man. Holy guys. Stack of lacking cracking. Oh man. What a beautiful plant, guys. She's nice. I like her. I really like her. Creepy. <laughs> oh, creepy twiddle fingers. Okay, that's getting a little too weird, man. Izzy, what are you doing? Why are you so scared? Why are you so scared, girl? You're too nice to be scared. Oh, she just wants to be petted. Look at... She just wants to be petted. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She'll roll over. Look at her. <laughs> you little weirdo. <laughs> she wants to eat ginger. 
All right, guys, 6.3, good enough for me. Let's get a liter and head in to feed her. Removing pH tentacle. And yes, I'm a space cadet. I love being a space cadet. If you don't like it, then you can watch something else. I'm most definitely a space cadet because I'm on a mission, my friends. I'm on a mission. Lights back on. Light's been at 60% too, guys. And it's been about six inches from that. The top nuggy over there, all the way down to around 12 inches or so. Whoa, baby, four whole liters. That's right, guys. So, I think she could be a little darker, to be honest, but she's beautiful, man. Look at that. Let me get a nice shot back up for you guys. Oh, mama. Oh, mama. What are you doing? He's all on guard because of the dog. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, there we are a couple days, few days in the week four. Hello, my UBs. Hello, my two Bs. Hello, my best online friends. Ruby's back again. And it's a musical once again. Anyways, guys, it is day like five of week four. We are almost done week four, my friends. They are trucking along just great. They're just loving life. They are a little bit light, as you guys see. They're blowing through the food much quicker than I anticipated. That's for sure. But look at the stack of lacking. Oh, man. Oh, mama, it's time to do some trimming here, guys. Let me show you the trichomage we're dealing with. That's a beauty. So I moved up the trellis. That's right, Ribby, the, tele, the trellis tyrant. Remember that, guys? I'm the trellis tyrant. Billionaire botanist up in this biatch. So we're going to go around and we're going to remove. I could probably just do this in the dark. Ribby likes the dark. True story. So yeah, we're just going to you know what, I'm gonna get you guys on the tripod. Make it a little bit easier. There. So I moved the trellis up a little bit, guys, like I said, because um, why not, right? Like, you can see orbs all the time, eh? There's all kinds of spirits around me. But, you know, they're going to start to sway and flop, right? So the trellis is a little low. Could have done a two-part trellis, but I think these are strong enough that they're going to be just fine, my friends. But yeah, they got a lot of leaves on them still. We can definitely open this up for the last um, three, four weeks of flower here. Get some light penetration, deep, deep penetration. If you know what I'm saying. This channel is 21 plus, by the way. <laughs> if there's any young viewers, log off now. You might hear things that you should not hear. I warned you. And remember guys, wear gloves or wash your hands. Remember, don't be have sticking your poopy fingers all over the plants, right? You might kill them oh I'm kicking the tripod sorry guys sorry uh, I think you guys could probably get the gist of everything I'm doing here everything I'm removing you know see then the light will shine down in there and get that some of them don't need to be removed that I'm removing but well it's not gonna hurt it anyway it's just taking up energy and they're blowing through the food, guys. They're really blowing through. They, I keep saying they. I keep thinking there's like a bunch of plants here. It looks like a bunch of plants, don't it? Yeah. 
Yeah, I got poopy fingers, so that's why I put the gloves on, guys. So, yeah. I don't want to kill the plants. <laughs> oh, could you imagine? I killed my plants. What happened? I had my fingers up my bum hole, and then I touched the plants. The plants didn't like it. <laughs> oh, man. Can you guys see what I mean? I'm pretty immature for my age, okay? I like to be like this though. That's what makes you ribby ribby. So, you know what? I'm gonna get you guys off of here. I'm just gonna toss those down there until it's time to clean. See, these ones in here can definitely. Look at all those black and white in there, guys. This should have already been done, too, if anyone's wondering. This should have been done probably a week or two ago. Would have uh, really been better. See, tack of the Asian beetles, guys. I'm telling you. But they eat bad bugs, too, I hear, so. It's hard to find research on it. I know you're thinking, well, why don't you just Google it? I've tried. And they call the, they're like, I can't even figure out exactly what they are. But I'm almost positive they're Asian beetles. They look just like, just like um, ladybugs. But they're not ladybugs. They're not nice. Ladybugs are nice. Yeah, there's a lot of foliage down in here, guys. Holy. Get all these lowers to tighten up. And then all the rubbets, guys. And the net's been moved up, so we're gonna have some stuff that looks lower, but it's really not. I think you guys could see better like this, right? Alright, so yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna just remove anything down guys. I'm gonna go and see the leaves back there. It's gonna be too hard to film it. I'll get all these rubbits and I'll clean all that up. Get this all out of here. I didn't water yesterday. I wanted to. It's a little too dry for my lichens. We're gonna be doing daily waterings from now on because it needs it. So we'll go four liters today and then tomorrow we'll hit over three and then we're just gonna go three every day. So let's go mix up a concoction for this girl. All right, I got two plants to feed, that big ass one and then another big ass one that's organic in the four x four. So we're gonna do eight liters, guys, of just normal um, tap water, dechlorinated, bubbled, the whole works. I absolutely hate using this stuff right here, guys, but it's gonna need some soon. We're gonna run into some issues if we don't, so I'm gonna put two teaspoons of this in. And the only reason I don't like it is because it clogs up my freaking pH tentacle, man, like crazy. So we're gonna try to get it to mix properly. One teaspoon. Spread it out, spread it out. <laughs> That looks really cool, man. Wow. Darn it. Not a bad idea. And now you mix like crazy. And be very careful. See that, all the chunks and stuff? Oh, I gotta get more from Green Rush, man. I do not like Gaia Greens. Man, this is gonna take forever, guys. I will be back in three hours. Three hours later. 
Um, I Yeah, I didn't realize before, guys. It's this really acidic. It raises the pH through the roof, too. But uh, we're not done yet. I want to put in some fish doo-doo, donkers, fish dong. You guys know what I mean. Calls for 10 mils of this angry-looking fella right here. So some have a hole, some don't. You better check before you shake it. I remember I shook it and it was spraying all over the room. I'm like, what is happening? <laughs> What the heck? I was paused when I was supposed to be playing and playing when I was supposed to be paused. But then it was just 10 mils of uh, fish dong and in it goes. Fish dong in your bong. I imagine how that would taste. Ooh, time to stir. Now we got to check the pH. Like I said, it's uh, really acidic stuff. So, damn it. So I wanted to, I wanted to do um, cow mag and, and uh, silica too, but I'm not going to mix that massive concoction of it. It's all kinds of stuff. So we will wait and we'll do that in the next watering. pH tentacle. And again, this is why I love this thing. 100 to 200 new subscribers every day, guys. So, so I repeat myself because I don't, I don't say what this thing is. And I get a bunch of messages or emails. And, what is that thing on your wall? You see how high that goes? Holy man. Wow. Makes me wonder. Definitely need the pH down or up or up. What am I talking about? We need the phosphoric acid down. And we're going to need about 20 speckles, guys. What are your about 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12? 12 should do it. <laughs> we'll see we'll see you probably need more than that even we're actually a tad low i want to see if i can just bubble this guys look at old the bubbling tentacle and uh i'm gonna leave it for a few minutes and it might re oh look at that <laughs> what do you know so i'd like it around six two six three if it stays there i'm fine with that add in some oxygen molecules real quick so they're right fresh and then bang in there they go to the root zone well, we bubbled it to 6.3. That's what I like to see. You know, let's get a liter and head in and fade her. But first, remove. Remove your air tentacles. And no, I didn't rinse it. It's fine. A tad little 1% of 1% is not going to hurt it. Now, let's see if it clogged up my pH tentacle again. I'm going to be hella pissed. Oh, it actually looks like it cleaned it a bit. Wow. That's good. That's good to know. I can't believe it raises the pH that much, guys. I don't remember it being that acidic, but it's the blue lab. Ain't gonna lie, is it? Leader number one down the hatch, and we are giving her a total of four so enjoy the snazzy music i try to switch it up as much as i can well there you have it my ub to be family they got four full liters. Um, I did take off the rest under here. Well, about most of what I'm going to take off. I'm not going to do too much. And as you can see, we've definitely opened it up. Got to take a few more off down in there. It's hard to film it. But other than that, guys, wow. That's all I can say. Now, that is a picture-perfect plant. Is that not? Look at that man yeah so she was really dry i'm not letting it get that dry anymore you do not want to let it dry out like that especially with organic your microbes and stuff will die off so yeah with pro mix and organic guys you can keep it soaked and wet there's no over watering so yeah love y'all i'll be back for update day 
And guess who's back? Ribby's back. It's update day. This is the last day, and this will be up for you guys. Man, isn't she just stellar, as some people might say. She's a stellar one. That's a weird word that I would never use. But uh, yeah, check it out, guys. So I defoliated pretty well when the camera went off. As you see, I don't think I went too crazy. Not at all. I want to give you guys a look under here. See that? Look at that. We're getting some light under. She's looking great. I moved the trellis up to the point where I think it'll be good, where they won't flippity flop around too much. I'll get you a light out shot here, and then we'll get her fed, and then that's it for today, guys. That's it until the next video. Look at that, man. Most beautiful plant I have grown to date by far, guys. I'm thinking 10 ounces. I'm gonna say 10 ounces, guys, because, you know, I could fill this tent out way more with like four plants. So I'm gonna say eight ounces, eight to 10 ounces. I can't see it being more than that. A solid half a pound plant would be pretty badass, got to admit. So it's been really easy to do too, guys. But anyways, let's go and get this water. Well, you guys know the magical corner where we got to get the light on though. Boom. I want to go just green today, guys. Why is it not working? There we go. Pretty freaking cool, man. So now we're going to... Um, we're going to go cow mag. Let's just put four liters into another, um, into the other bucket and then we'll go cow mag. Well, we're going to go three, I think today. Got to my bucket that was in here. I was using it as a foot rest, but yeah, we gave it four yesterday. So I've been giving it four, letting it dry out for one day and then giving it another four, but it dried out too much. And I do not like that. You don't want to let it dry out that much. It kills the microbes, especially with pro mix and being organic. So... So we're going to give it three today, and then we're going to give it three tomorrow. We're going to go with three liters every day from here on out, guys. She can take it. So we got our bucket. We'll throw three liters into this. Oh, I'm going to rinse it quick. All right, three liters of this into there, and then we'll put our cow mag pH it, and we're good to go. Jug him. There we have three, probably just a little bit over, guys. It's probably about three and a half, to be honest. But now let's see what we need for CalMag. You know what? We're going to go with the MPK Raw Clean, clean growing, guys. So, because why not? We're going in organic. We don't have organic CalMag. So I guess we do this stuff here, but I'm going to go with what I know to dose. I don't even know the dose for that. So about one-eighth of a teaspoon, guys. Wow, that's got to be some strong shit there. Was that some Walter White stuff there? Right? Look at that. Looks like, looking like crystals. And that was, like, even strong for the dose, it says. Like, that's crazy. That's crazy potent stuff, my friends. And now you stir, stir, stir. No color to it or anything. Pretty freaking cool, man. Well, it didn't do too much to bring the pH down, so we need a couple sprinkle sprackles of pH down. Phosphoric acid. One sprinkle sprackle. Oh, maybe two. Two. That might not be enough, but we'll find out in a second. Well, 6.4. Good enough, guys. I'll go there. So, yeah. I'm going to give it a minute and keep stirring just to make sure it's stable. Well, we're stuck at 6.4, guys, so... We're good to go there, so let's get a liter and an and feeder. Oh, but first we move pH tentacle. Come on, girl. <laughs> now we grab a liter and head in and feed her. Yeah, we got our liter, but see, see, we wanted to go ahead at, like this. Is why I'm going earlier because it's too hydrophobic and pouring out the sides yesterday. And you don't want it getting hydrophobic like that. So here we go.
Whoa, it's hot in here, man. <laughs> you guys have it. She got three full liters, and I'm going to wrap it up here. What a beauty, guys. I freaking love you guys, man. Keep dropping the likes. Keep dropping the comments. I love talking to you guys below. The love you guys have been showing is absolutely insane. Thank you, guys. See you down below.